Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Hands-On Business Analytics. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to install IBM OS Explorer. So, if you go to the IBM official page and come to this uh, web page, you can find that there are some instructions telling you how to install and configure OS Explorer in your computer. However, there's uh, a lot of uh, stuff to go through here, and uh, so so. I'm going to show you a simple way to do this. Mm, okay, so if you come to this website uh, for for downloading the OS Explorer, you can download this file. So I've already downloaded it, and as you can see here, this is my file, and then and I open it. This is the setup file that I will need to run in order to install OS Explorer. So if you, I just double click on it, it will show me an interface telling me that I can run it as a, basically as an administrator uh, with the highest privileges. And then uh, if I just click on it, I can uh, just click OK and leave the uh, basic settings as default. So it will help me to install the software very successfully. However, one thing to notice that uh, the IBM OS Explorer can only be run on a server or operating system, which means that you need to first um, download a virtual machine. Uh, here you can find the uh, right version, uh, and then on the virtual machine you can install a uh, Windows Server 2008 Enterprise version as a server-side operating system, so as to uh, run the OS Explorer and you can just download it a direct version. Here I've already done it. So you just open your virtual machine. Here I've used uh, I'm using the virtual box as a open free open source software. And then you can new a uh, virtual machine, give it a name, type and the version. So if you are using the 64 bit version, uh, one thing you need to do is to enable your virtualization technology feature uh, at the boot boot up settings so there are some videos telling you how to do this and i'm not going to show it here also you can just leave the other settings as default except that if you want to if you want your local virtual machine to connect to the network here is one setting that you need to leave it as a NAT keep it connected so which is to basically let your virtual machine connect to the network. Um, well, after you have uh, uh, created a new virtual machine for Windows 2008, Server so 2008, then you can uh, run it. Here I'm already running it. And uh, after you get after you get into the the interface, uh, you can just paste directly copy the this file into your local uh, virtual machine and double click on it and then just go through all the way to the end. So here I've already done it. The one thing to um, verify if you have successfully installed OS Explorer is to open your browser and then type in localhost, type in this one to run your OS, OS Explorer locally and then here's the username and password. The, the, the default username and password are covered in IBM Redbook for OS Explorer. And here you can just search it online in Google and uh, you will find the default usernames and username and password. <coughs> so here I enter as a default user, administrator, and then login. So this is the basic interface of OS Explorer when you first log in. Um, and I hope uh, when you come to this stage, it means that you have basically successfully installed your Explorer. And I hope you have you can come to this stage successfully and have a nice day. Goodbye.